So, Tom, we, we've come to um, the question that we're asking everyone on this series now, and, and we, you touched on it a little bit earlier when you, you, you talked about sk understanding skills data and stuff like that. It, what, is the, what is the value of, of measuring skills data and how should companies approach it? The question of skills, David, is, um, again, I've been on a learning journey in this role for the last kind of six months with my team here. Um, we are working together with Gloat, uh, is a, uh, a startup that I think you, you you guys spoke about a couple of times as well. So but they, they help us. I don't know where skills will go. What I do know is that it's going to be super important for us with the challenges we're going to have in the future. If that is technology, innovation, speed, whatever, to get a better understanding. Because on a macro level, what do we see? We see employees looking not just for fast career path tracks, etc. look for mastery. Second thing is that this whole conversation we had four years ago, I would not be able to have a type of conversation like this if I would not have had met people who had deep skills that are really passionate about the topic and willing to, to share that. So for business problems, you're going to have some deep-rooted skills. So the whole conversation about generalists versus experts, T-shape and all that is going to shift. I, I have no doubt about that. Now, where it sits in an organization, we're going to learn. We're inspired by what the teams in Unilever have done. We're inspired with the teams in Kraft have done. I think we're going to understand how this is going to go. And this is also where how the approach we're taking there, uh, David. So we're rolling out Gloat now for around five, 6,000 people, which Again, um, it's big enough for us to start to learn, but we really focus here on the talent management world, career paths, how does organization look? We don't go immediately to the marketplace because yeah. I feel that the marketplace is sometimes, it's too far out. It has so many implications on how you reward, how you set targets, how you promote, how you allocate time, that we, I, 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 we first need to meet, learn a little bit before we go there. So we're going to take it step by step. I think it's going to be a super exciting chapter of people and how organizations grasp that. I think it's a quite a crowded place in terms of discussions and 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 and, and well, philosophical debate almost. I think for you know it, it took me a bit of time to find it. You know what I think it is for us as an organization. Yeah. But this is going to evolve as we learn together with the team from Gloat, with ourselves, and when we when we go live with the groups that we're going to be using. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.